it's the beginning of the month and that means that the Spellbinders Kit Clubs have been released. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel and in this month's Kit Clubs from Spellbinders, everything is holiday related from the card kit of the month to the embossing folder, to even the wax seal of the month is festive and holiday centered. I have lots to share with you today, so let's dive right into the card making and I'll be sure to let you know what the new products are as we go. First, let's take a look at the quick and easy card kit of the month. It comes with this sheet that has some card ideas as well as a list of all the supplies inside, like this A2 cardstock assortment and this six by six pattern paper assortment. Again, some versatile designs and some very holiday centric designs as well. They also have puffy stickers. They have sentiments and little icons. There's also chipboard stickers two sheets of that, again, some sentiments and some images. There's adhesive and a sequin mix that has stars, sprinkles, and red shiny sequins. There's also some acetate shapes this month. These are really fun. They're clear, except for they have the painted designs on them, and they're really beautiful. They look so nice on cards, and they're such a fun assortment of designs in that pack. As usual, there's an entire pack of die-cut cardstock pieces with tons of options available. So to share how quick and easy these cards are, I cut a piece of cardstock down to four by five and a quarter, matted it on an A2 piece of pattern paper, and I'm adhering this acetate shape down by just putting liquid glue on the colorful parts on the back. Then I have a die cut piece that is the tree and this little elf which is so cute. I'm able to pop that up with the foam adhesive that comes in the kit. I have a happy holidays that's from the puffy stickers and then some of these little stars that came from the sequin mix and some actual sequins from the sequin mix. So you can see I have die cuts, I have the acetate shapes, I have the puffy stickers, I have the sequins, pattern paper, and cardstock all in one card. So here I decided to cut the pattern paper down to four by five and a quarter and the cardstock is A2 already. I'm popping up one of the die cut pieces. So sometimes I like to pull out a bunch of the die cuts that I think will go well together. I have some hearts, I have some flowers with some holly and some stars stars. For the sentiment, I have a little puffy sticker that says fa la 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 and a chipboard sticker that says magical holidays. So then I'll just add in some more die cuts around the outside. It makes a nice cluster in the center of the card. This is so easy to put together, but look at how cute it comes out. This time I have the four and a quarter by five and a half piece of pattern paper and the cardstock cut down to four by five and a quarter. Again, I pulled out the die cuts and I have them as a kind of border or strip in the center of the card, I knew I wanted to use the Merry and Bright chipboard stickers. And so I worked those in around that cluster of die cut pieces. Again, super quick, super easy, but so cute. Next up is the embossing folder of the month. I love this design with the ornaments and I'll use a piece of the cardstock from the card kit and emboss that then cut it down to four by five and a quarter so I can mat it on another piece of cardstock from the card kit. Again, I'll pull out some of the die cuts that are uh, different decorations. I have a bobble, I have a poinsettia, I have a little gingerbread man and a couple of stars and that's all you need because check out that embossed background. This is the wax seal kit of the month. So you get some really pretty red beads. They're super bright, as well as this wax seal stamp that says Merry Christmas to you. So I love speeding up the melting of those wax beads. It is very calming to work with wax. You just get to sit until it melts, stir it up a little bit, and then pour it out into a nice circle on the silicone mat that comes with the starter kit for the wax seals from Spellbinders. And look at that red. It is so shiny and holiday perfect. And then just place the wax seal right on top. You don't push down, just place it on top and it will dry and harden and you'll be able to peel it right off. 
off. So this one was a little too small to hold the whole wax seal, so I added a little bit more wax this time. I had started with four beads, and I think I put five beads in this one, and look at that perfect circle. Oh my gosh, the red is so stunning. I'm so glad that they came out with a red early so that I could incorporate this into my Christmas cards. And there I got the whole thing on that wax seal. And I love using some type of deco paint pen to add a little bit of metallic to the raised parts of the wax seal. It really helps them to stand out. And then you have the two different colors. I also have a little white pen here that I'm using and that looks really cute on the red as well. And then last but not least, a little silver. I got a little bit too messy with the silver, I think, but I really love the way the gold turned out. So I embossed another piece of cardstock, put some pattern paper at the bottom, and I have the wax seal. I'm going to tie some cord around the part where the pattern paper meets the embossed paper. Then I'll use the wax seal adhesive circles from Spellbinders. These are my absolute favorite because they fit right behind those wax seals and they make it really easy to adhere them down to paper crafts. So you just peel one off of the sheet, then press it down and you can see that little tab on the side there. I usually use my nail just to make sure that the adhesive is fully adhered down towards the wax. Then take that little tab and pull it off, leaving the wax seal adhesive circle onto the wax seal. Then you can just press it down on your project and it really holds very well. So I love the look of the cord curled and then the wax seal as well as the bossed area and that pattern paper. It just came together really nicely. Here's the better press kit this month. So there's no die in this set. Sometimes they have dies to cut things out. This is just the image of the Christmas tree made up of the words. So I have a piece of white cotton paper adhered down to the clear plate on the right and I'm using the ink from the Better Press Spellbinders collection to ink up the entire Christmas tree and all of those sentiments. Then I'll just place that paper on top. There's little magnets in the corners that hold this all together and run it through your die cut machine. So you can see when you peel it off, it is both embossed and it is inked up. So it's such a beautiful letterpress look that you get so easily. And I'm just spritzing this panel with a little bit of gold and then I'll trim it down to four by five and a quarter so that I can mat it on some coordinating cardstock from the card kit there. So I have that red pop of color in the background with the gold splatters and I thought it needed one more thing. So I went back to that sequin mix and grabbed some of those stars again and place them in some of the open areas in the Christmas tree and around it as well just to give that other pop of color and it works perfectly with the cardstock. This is one of the images from the glimmer kit of the month this month and I have the matte gold foil adhered down to an A2 piece of smooth white cardstock. Then I put my plates on top and remove it from the glimmer machine and run it through my die cut machine. Here's the little bow image that comes in this month's kit and there are some circles that have different sentiments like joy for you and warm wishes. So I have that heating up and I have another piece of matte gold foil on some A2 white cardstock held in place with some washi, put my plates on top and remove the entire platform from the glimmer machine and run it through my die cut machine. So check this out. This little bouquet of Christmas flowers and berries is so beautiful. So is the bow and the little circle sentiments. So what I decided to do to make this card is cut out the bow as well as the circle. So there are dies for the circle sentiments and there's dies for the bow. For the bouquet, there isn't a die, so I'm gonna leave it on this card panel, and I'm going to do some very quick coloring with some Distress Oxide ink right over top. And you'll notice 
that the foil from the Glimmer Machine really resists ink. Plus, I'm doing a very soft coloring just to add a little bit here and there for those berries, leaves, and the little poinsettia flower. I'll mat that on some gold mirror cardstock from Spellbinders and then put a little bit of thin liquid adhesive behind the bow. The Sweet Petunia Precision Press makes this really easy to get around those curves of the bow and to get just a fine amount of adhesive. I'll pop up the joy to complete this card. So easy to put together, but just such a pretty and elegant card. Here is the small die of the month. I always like to share how to put all of these little pieces together. So you have Santa's body, his arms, and his hat. Those I all cut out in red. And now I'll start putting things together so you can see where they go. We have one arm that goes on this side here. There's the little white trim of his coat. You can see I have a bunch of elements cut out in white. And then I have his face and his beard. I'm kind of just going back and forth for things I can see go together really easily and then I'll start to put the whole character together. So there's also a mustache and then of course the hat goes on top of his head. There's also a little spot for the pom-pom on the end of the hat that can be cut out in white and there's also trim for the hat. So you can see it's really coming together pretty quickly now that we have all these pieces. I've cut out the nose and there are little fur trims for the sleeves of his jacket, as well as black that I cut out for his mittens. So you can see you put the little mittens on the sleeve, then you put the little fur trim on top of that. Same thing with the boots. The boots I cut out in black, you put them behind the leg piece there, and then you can put the white trim right on top and it covers up anything that looks weird on that leg area there and he is walking in this character's image. So now this beard, there's an embossed piece on the body that shows you exactly where to line up the beard. So they make it as easy as they possibly can. And you can always look at an example online to see how all the pieces fit together. I cut out some snow drifts just by hand and I'm adhering them down to a piece of the pattern paper from the kit. And then I'll pop up Santa so that I can put the rest of this together. You can see that in one hand, he's holding a golden stick and I have some eyes, buttons cut out in black. And then for the eyes, I just added a little white just to make the eyes come alive. There are some flags that you can get that are the dies that come with it, or you can get the add-on stamp set. And I'm gonna use the add-on stamp set. It is curved just like the flag from the die set. So that's an add-on stamp stamp set for the small die of the month. And I'll stamp that in white cardstock and then heat emboss it with white embossing powder, pop it up and then add it to the top of the flag post. Next up is the stitching die of the month. This is a really beautiful set. There's an A2 rectangle as well as an insert. And the this is the insert, the white piece. And I'm adhering it down to a piece of gold mirror cardstock. You can see some of it is cut out. That's okay because I'm going to cover it up with the decorations. There's also a tree that cuts out and a flag at the bottom. This one says happy holidays. There's another flag that you can cut out as well. And there are ornament toppers. Now for the tree, it is very easy to stitch. It is long stitches from each layer of the tree up to the, the top of that layer. So you can see all five of those holes go up to one hole above. It's very easy to stitch the decorations as well. They just go straight stitches from the outside towards the center of the decoration. So I'm using a gold thread for all of those to match with the gold mirror cardstock that is behind that you can just see peeking out of the little holes 
within the die cut part. So here's the happy holidays flag. It fits right underneath the tree. There's a spot for the tree on that die cut piece. It makes it very easy to figure out where to put it. And then all the ornaments obviously fit within that die cut background as well. So I cut that die cut background out of pink and blue and white so that I would have several options for the decorations. And it looks like they are hanging by gold thread because of the thin die cut background that shows the gold mirror cardstock. I decided to add some Spellbinders Fashion gold embellishments and I just can't get over how gorgeous this card comes out with very minimal work. This is the clear stamp set and matching dies for this month. This is a really cute penguin stamp set. Doesn't need a ton of coloring, but I'll do a little bit. I have two pieces of pattern paper. One is going to be a strip at the top of my light blue cardstock, and then I'm going to mat that on some green pattern paper. So I did stamp these on some alcohol-friendly cardstock, and I'm using Ohuhu markers to color them in. Now, mostly I'm using some greens and blues to coordinate with the cardstock colors and pattern paper colors that I chose for the background but of course the little feet have to be orange <laughs> and I did add a few pops of red as well. This is a sentiment from the stamp set piles of warm winter wishes which I think is absolutely perfect for this image of all the penguins piled up and I did pop them up on foam adhesive as well. Another super easy card that comes out so cute. I don't know about you, but these kit clubs from Spellbinders are getting me really excited about the holidays. If you're getting a jump on your Christmas cards, don't forget to check out my entire playlist, Get a Jump on Christmas. I'll link to it here. As always, I wanna thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. So hot in here. Look at us so hot in here. Look at us so hot in here. <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking about Christmas. It's like I'm sweating.